Hello, I am going to do some dash. Just about how the masculine's feeling. Tend to the small things. Let it shine. Take the lead. Be fearless and bold. So there's Feeling with the masculine that he wants to step forward, take care of the things that he didn't take care of before. There's um, the air show is going on, so there's going to be really loud planes flying around. I see acknowledge wanting to fall out and. Kundalini energy falling out. Clearing karma. How is the masculine feeling right now? Breakthrough. Processing karmic debris. Remember your identity. You can do it. Awareness. Crystal clear vision. I think we got that the other day. Two cards of karmic clearing and you can do it. Very interesting. So I'm not going to read you at all. I'm just going to read him. Make this a short reading. There's a lot of very heavy energy right now. The moon and the Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. There's been delays. He's choosing to repair whatever's going on with that. Yeah, I get this feeling like things have not gone in his favor. Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands. Interesting energy. I mean, it does feel like a love is a little bit of a burden for him. Two of Swords again, Five of Pentacles, the Devil, wow. Fool, Emperor. I mean, yeah, he wants a fresh start, but he doesn't know Hermit. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups and King of Swords, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. What is going on here? It's like his heart is telling him to move. His heart is telling him to leap. Even though things don't like he's not sure of what will happen. I mean, what's very interesting is that the heart is kind of radiating energy in both of these cards here. And he feels like he's being led by something bigger. That card keeps coming out. So it's kind of my Empress card in the stock. just doesn't feel worthy of you yet and yet he knows you two belong together and there's nothing to offer you you see the mismatch of energies here with the yin yang and the, in the reverse that's crazy though I was like right overhead um, I like you. Kisses. Separation in reverse. Girl talk in reverse. Wedding rings. No, no, no. Phoenix. The snake. Love. Mask. And sound to the back. Not today. 
There definitely may be a wedding. I've gotten that multiple times now. Like, you may be invited to one. I mean, we have engagement ring and wedding rings. <laughs> he may want to give you a symbol of affection. And I see that in multiple places here. Like, there may be... I actually see, like, many, many circular interesting you know for some of you there's different ways this could go you may you may get some kind of jewelry he may have like gotten a tattoo there's some kind of something oh it's so interesting symbol with yang in reverse orphan happy happy there's kind of no way of making things right that's the energy i get you see this card it's like it's such an interesting card the way that it shows these two different states right this one it's got some kind of little flying things next to the bird it's got its crown and on the other one there's a bunch of clouds and things are very confusing I mean there's clouds in both but they're beginning to part and then you know look at the golden mask here and then this window into the cloudy sky there's also this clock that is round right I'm getting this round and round and round energy where no matter which way he plays it in his mind and this comes back around to karma the mind is like playing tricks cycles discernment it says tune in to the moon's magic there's this feeling here of Coming to you in the word that I want to use is feminine way, meaning reflective, like the hermit, from the heart, from the intuition. It's like they're telling me that. the cycle of this karmic energy can't be broken through the mind and He's going to have to make this choice, this two of swords, from inside, right? Right over the hermit. She's blindfolded. There's messages coming at her, but it's like she has to do it without the results in the physical world. Like, he has to move in a way that... He transforms first, like without. So a lot of the time with men, I don't know why they're going through this, but it's like, it's like, 
they won't do the work or, or won't do the transformation unless something's really on the line and there's a big payoff or some kind of guarantee and it's like he has to do it without this guarantee and for some reason that correlates to you somehow you're sort of moving in the dark too and it's kind of in this space of movement that you two will find your way back to each other and it's through this You know, I haven't channeled the ring in a while, and today I saw it, it really clearly. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like I channel, I, I was part of the group of Divine Feminines that first channeled the Twin Flame ring, right? And meaning our 5D selves are within this sphere, and it's like tethered to Earth, and we are kind of helping the earth ascend and we are all actually linked together as well and there's a lot of energies here that are about like I'm getting that card if you knew who I really was would you still love me or like me whatever it says on that card um we have five of pentacles and orphaned, you know, that's very strong energy of like, and, and trust me when I say I went through it and I know what it feels like. Um, it's like when you disconnect from codependency, you have to go through this, like taking responsibility fully for your likes and dislikes and and everything about the decisions that you make and it's a very alone time i missed your laugh i saw your car kisses i bought you some flowers i couldn't do it i looked up some flames sphinx energy i still fantasize about us together above or above empress I called, would you answer? Sagittarius, son. Do you ever wonder if this is real? I doubt it. Standoff, healing. Fool's gold, interesting. Isis, hurting you hurt me more than I ever imagined it would. Sacred geometry, I'm planning to surprise you. And look, moon energy. Seeing signs, how could you want me? Be resilient. I think he's trying to say, like, I'm not seeing the signs this one or this one this one um but then he sees them anyway <laughs> look destiny and heartache and loss so he's kind of in a protective stance right now with that seven of wands and that hermit and yet the universe the signs his higher self is really calling him to reach out to you. Yeah, we've had the star in reverse a lot. Oh, wow. Devil. There's a lot of choices to be made that are kind of high stakes right now. And it may feel quite dark for him and yet in making these choices moving forward and making them on his own look we have full energy again full and kind of this zero one interesting so he's kind of coming out of that codependency that I think those the rings and that that energy was about in these black cards where he has to make these choices for himself and i keep getting that and it's like it's a choice 
you know, it always with me relates back to things that I was talking about earlier. It's like the more kind of toxic and dysregulated you are, the more you see like competition between people who say they love each other. And he wants to leave that. In fact, I see him not wanting that in his life anymore and breaking free from some of those people in his life and the thing that he's learned. But it's like he's in the dark and searching for the light and he can't quite see it and he can't quite find it, but he's moving towards that what his third eye perceives as light. Does that make sense? Like, you know when you have a sleep mask on and you like wake up and you're kind of feeling like, is it three o'clock in the morning? Is it five? Is it seven? I don't know exactly. Like you're awakened. That's kind of that feeling I get. You know, this is a very interesting card for sure. It's kind of the emperor in reverse becoming the emperor. And it's interesting that it's an 18 here which is a nine, which is a, you know, closing of the cycle. I see him thinking, well, I can't be the light. And yet he is the light. And part of him knows this. That's the healing, right? Healing is simply removing like the falseness of what we've been programmed to believe we are and so that we can actually see our own light. And then there is a recognition once you do that of the way you hurt yourself, what you denied yourself, the way you hurt other people. There's all of this very intense forgiveness that has to occur. Um, when you realize like we're all just doing the best that we can and look right from the very beginning look at let it shine right it's kind of shining out of the heart chakra but it's a very interesting card so let's get a little bit of just advice some advice cards so the planes, you know, they're doing their show. They've flown over three times now. And, uh, you know, super, supersonic speeds. It's, it's very interesting um, that you may indeed, this, this all may come out of nowhere. So these energies, you can call into your energy field if you want. Just use the actual stones. Balance, forgiveness, communication, and emotional healing and manifestation. And there's a very strong feeling here. So we have Boji Stones, Pink Tourmaline, Aquamarine, and then a Master Teacher card of Awakening. Very much in alignment with what I was talking about. Is that... Uh, I forget now. I'm kind of channeling such high energy right now. It kind of comes and goes so fast. Lilac fire, silver lunar, so more moon energy, fire, crystal yellow dragon with the lotus. What was I going to say? There was something important here. <gasps> Look at that. We got another master teacher card under the manifestation, which is the lovers. Ah, there's a strong energy. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, Spirit is wanting me to tell you. Those of us that are going through it, it will be okay. It will be okay. Transmutes through the power of divine love. So the more you kind of have put on you right now, the more available to transmute into love. So take it as you will that you may be 
feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders and you will transmute this into love. This will cause a great ascension within you. Open up to the transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. And for those of us, you know, we all go through it in our own kind of sector, right? The sector we have to ascend into power, whatever that is for you. You'll feel it very strongly and it will be very kind of unavoidable. Bathe you in divine feminine light. Comes, come into balance and practice peace, harmony and cooperation. It's kind of what I was talking about with like ending toxic cycles, right? Expand your causal chakra. Burns up lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired and clear your soul's pathway. So we're also going to get some of these, I guess. Almost done. And Isis past life. The situation involves your past life memories. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. I leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. <laughs> so crazy. Everything is going to be fine, just as Spirit just told us. It is going to be fine. And that doesn't mean take no action. That means do your ascension work. Embrace through each other, we find the missing pieces. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also destroy your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, new beginnings. So the third fool card, new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen, love conquers and transforms all things. And then we have trust and sacred union. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So they are giving me some, for those of you going through it with like value, property, money, in that arena, just know that, you know, this is a specific kind of transit that you need to go through in order to like level up. Um, it is one of the more challenging pathways. So I'm gonna get a few monology cards. Um, when you are dealing with things that involve, you know, your legacy or livelihood, it is, it is challenging. Bring love into the situation. It is time to release negativity. A personal issue reaches re re resolution. Believe in the impossible. The end of a tight cycle approaches. Prosperity lies ahead. So it's asking what do you need to release and breathe out and then show the world the real you. All right, those are all the messages for today. I hope this has really helped you. Thank you, Spirit, for all these messages. And um, I so appreciate your comments, shares, and likes. And I will talk to you later. Bye.